introduce numbers. Now we're going to talk about algebraic expressions. So remember that we are not able to list all numbers. So instead of using numbers, it's easier for us to use variables. Variables just represent random numbers. We don't know what those numbers are, so that's why we use some variables like what? Like x, like y, like z, like t, like s. These are all variables that we use instead of repeating numbers. So from numbers, we introduce variables. Now we say, okay, what's the next step? The next step is to combine these variables and define something new, like what? Like expressions. So expressions, or basically algebraic expressions, are combination of variables and numbers. Well, well, it's not that difficult. Give us some example. Okay, sure. We can take variables and add them together. We can take variables and numbers and add them together. So the very first thing you can do is adding them. Addition or sum. X plus a random number. X plus one. X plus another variable. Y. X plus Y plus Z plus five. You can just keep going. There is no stopping. You can create as many expressions as you like. You can also subtract these, find the difference or subtraction. So subtraction, okay. I can subtract a number from a variable. One is taken from X. We can subtract two variables, X minus Y, or you can subtract some variables, X minus Y minus Z minus Y. Just note that X minus one in general is not equal to one minus X. We cannot just switch the rule of these two elements. In general, it's not commutative. So difference is not commutative. It doesn't commute. But for addition, it is commutative. We don't have any issue with x plus 1 and 1 plus x being equal to each other. So addition is commutative. So adding, subtracting, now multiplying. Why not? Product or multiplication. Product or multiplication. I can multiply a number and a variable. One times x. Guys, if you have one times x, you must simplify that and write x. One times x is equal to x. It's also equals to x times one. Well, okay. And then you can multiply two variables, x times y. You can multiply many variables, x times y times z. You can multiply that by a number, five. So as I mentioned, multiplication of product is commutative. x times y is equal to y times x. There is no difference between them. So product or multiplication is commutative. It commutes both ways, from left to right, from right to left. And finally, division. So quotient or division. They can divide a variable by a number. X divided by one 
is always equal to x, but 1 divided by x is not x. Any number divided by 1 equals to that number. Any expression divided by 1 is equal to that expression. But if you have 1 over x, that's a different story. These two are not equal to each other, guys. Be careful. x divided by y is not the same as y divided by x. It's not commutative. You can divide variables. x divided by y times z. You can have y divided by 5x. These are all divisions that you're allowed to define. These are all algebraic expressions. So as we mentioned, division is not commutative. Is not commutative in general. 